Welcome to another Photoshop for Beginners tutorial. Today I will be talking about the brush tool because this is a basic but very important tool in Photoshop and you have to understand how it works, how to customize your brush and how to work with it. I'm just going to, to show you the basic settings of it and on the next episode I will show you how to customize your brush, how to create new brushes, how to save them, how to download brushes from the internet and things like that. You can access the brush tool uh, using the B key on the keyboard or by pressing this icon here and you will see that inside of this uh, tool we have several other tools. The most important ones are the brush tool and the pencil tool. The brush tool is usually used to for masking and also digital painters use them um, to create, to actually draw things uh, with it. I'm not a good painter so I cannot, although I have a tablet, I cannot, uh, I'm not really good at that. But even if you're not a painter, you will, you need to know how to work with this, uh, with this tool because you will, you will need it. You will use it a lot. So when you select the brush tool, uh, you will see this little circle here, which I'm moving right now. And the size of this circle is the diameter of the brush. And if I click, you will see I have I create a dot exactly the same size as this circle here. If you right click you get this menu here which allows you to change the size and the hardness of the brush so and you will see that if I make it bigger the circle the circle is bigger and if I set the diameter to 60 pixels uh, you get a smaller circle. If you set hardness to 0 you will get a softer dot like that and on my tutorial whenever I say use a soft brush I mean set hardness to zero. You also have a list here with brushes these ones here are some special brushes which I I will skip for now because these are for tablet users and I never use them to be honest I'm using Photoshop CS5 by the way but you will notice that there are two kinds of brushes this ones here the round brushes this have two options for size and hardness but for example if I select this one you will see that it doesn't have hardness options so these are special Photoshop brushes that that the program uh, comes with if you don't see the same list as I have here you can click this icon here and you get this list and this is the list of all the sets available for me right now maybe you don't have the same list as me but you can download more brushes from the internet and I'll, I will show you that on the next episode but if you want to get that default list you have to click this um, option here that says reset brushes you will get a menu click OK and you will get this list if you select another set this is another default brush set and it looks like that you will also notice, let's go to the default brushes you will also notice that some brushes uh, behave differently like this one and this one for example and if I do, even if I have the black color selected you can see that I painted with gray as well and that's because this that's a custom brush so to say and you can customize brushes by going to window brush and you get this menu here and this is what I will show you on the next episode so I will skip it for now so the options that you have for the brush tool are the blend mode most of the times we'll, we will use the normal mode so I n never change this but you can paint for example with overlay if you want but the reason why I don't change that is because I usually when I use the brush tool to paint something I do it on a separate layer to have more control over it and that way I can change the blend mode from here and I will I can change that whenever I want to so most of the times I leave it on normal then you have the opacity which is as the name says the opacity if you set it to for example like 50 percent you will get a semi-transparent color like that and if you set it to 100 percent you get a a stronger opacity 100 percent the flow works almost exactly as the as the opacity and since this is a tutorial for beginners uh, for now we will say that the flow works uh, 
almost like the opacity although that's not correct because there are some differences but anyway you can use them um, you can use the flow and the opacity at the same time maybe you can spend some time and you'll find the differences it's not really important right now but anyways so I will get rid of this layer and create a new one these two icons here are for tablet users and they will allow you to change the opacity and the flow of the brush by controlling the pressure you apply to, to the pen when you when you're drawing with your on your tablet and this other icon here is for is the airbrushing mode which I never used so I will skip that for now if you want to know more about about the airbrushing and things like that you should probably go find a special tutorial dedicated to that because I'm not a digital painter and I don't use those features the reason why it's important to understand how the brush tool works is because tools like the clone stamp the eraser tool or the uh, dodging and burning tool have the same interface I call this the brush system because you can see that I now selected the eraser tool and when I right click I get exactly the same menu and exactly the same setting as for the brush tool so you can erase creatively so to say let me show you what I mean I will fill this with black and I get the eraser tool and I will select this brush and I will erase part of it so I erased that part of the of this shape I would usually use a layer mask for that so I would create a layer mask like that and use the use the brush tool with the same brush and paint over it and I get the same effect but the difference is that now if I want to to go back to the original I could right click and choose disable layer mask and I go back to the original and that way I don't destroy the this shape and that's called non-destructive editing that's why we use layer masks but if you want to know more about masks uh, check the episode where I talked about layer masks so that's all for now this is this was just a really basic introduction to the brush tool and on the next episode I will show you how to customize brushes and how to make your own brushes how to save them how to download brushes from the internet and all that so see you on the next episode